All right, welcome back to ShoeTube. And you know what we're talking about today. We gotta talk about Star Wars The Last Jedi. And uh, just right off the bat, people, there's gonna be spoilers. Because I can't figure out a way to talk about this movie without spoilers. So if you have not seen it, do not watch this video unless you want stuff spoiled for you. Um, first off, I tried for the Princess Leia buns for this video, but I couldn't get them to stay up, so I went with the Qui-Gon hair. So I know a lot of people don't like the prequels, but I think we can all agree Qui-Gon was pretty awesome. Anyway, let's talk about this movie. First off, I had something spoiled for me that really bummed me out, because it would have been a great surprise. Uh, just scrolling through my feed, and uh, CBR, Comic Book Resources website, totally blew the Yoda cameo. Had it right in the headline of an article. I was like, ah! The film hasn't been out for like 12 hours yet, and you've already screwed this up for me. Thank you so much. Unlike, unfollow. There's plenty of other places to get comic book news, so, uh, arrivederci to those guys. Uh, so, uh, this, overall, I definitely dug this flick. I really, really did. Um, I didn't like it as much as I enjoyed uh, Force Awakens, but I really dug it. Um, the stuff that's good is really, really good. Um, but there's definitely some stuff that, uh, that I could have done without. Uh, so we'll talk about the negatives first. Um, Super Leia? <sighs> yeah, you know, that, that, that kind of took me out of it. That was, that was weird. Um, I know that they have uh, referenced, you know, in Jedi that uh, the Force is strong with Leia, but we've never seen it before, and just the way it shows itself, and again, just that... Yeah, that just didn't do it for me. That was bad. Um, really, the whole side quest with uh, Finn and Rose just just padded the movie. Uh, I didn't really dig it at, at all. And the whole Benicio the Toro thing could have done without. Um, the whole the whole casino bit just again people didn't like the prequels. This was like something out of the prequels. And the horses. I was like, why? Why every place they went had to have uh, some wacky animals, you know, obviously to sell toys, but, like, the porgs. Eh, didn't dig the porgs. I was so hoping that Chewie was going to eat that pork that he roasted up. I mean, come on. You cooked it. You skinned it. Just eat the damn thing. So, yeah. And then we had, like, the, the weird horses on the casino planet, and then we had... The, uh, the little sparkly kitty fox things at the end, just, yeah, no, too much, too much, um, yeah. What did I like? A lot! First off, Mark Hamill, amazing. Such a great performance. I, I just, anytime he was on screen was the, was the best part of the movie for me. He was so good, um, just... Loved it. And speaking of that Yoda cameo, that was awesome. Because it was more of, like, it was like Yoda from Empire. You know, uh, just mischievous, just, that was that was Yoda. And a puppet again, which was cool. Still, for some reason, they can't make a puppet that looks good as the one they made in 1980, but he, I liked it. I, I thought it was great. I thought it really just added, added to the movie for me. Um, I like Rey. I think Rey's a cool character. Interesting that her parents apparently are nobodies, but uh, was Kylo telling the truth there? Hmm. Something that uh, we might find out uh, in the next episode. Um, and Snoke! They kind of make Snoke out to be this big mystery character, and then they just chop him in half halfway through the flick, and he's gone, so we don't know who he was, where he came from, who trained him, we don't know. But we do know that he is gone, and now it's Supreme Commander Kylo Ren. So, yeah, that's interesting. A great scene, though. It was awesome. Like it was a really cool scene, and a great shot where you know we see Ray and uh, and Ben, Kylo, you know, fighting alongside each other. That was really cool. And for a minute there, I thought that Ray was going dark. So that would have been interesting. But much like. Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi says, join me and we will rule the galaxy together. Right? 
That's what uh, Kylo essentially says to Rey, and Rey says, Screw you, buddy! Not gonna do it. So, yeah. That was cool. That was definitely cool. Uh, visually, this movie is a treat. Like I say, other than the, uh, the casino BS, uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous movie. Uh, the space battles are really cool. Um, the whole Luke's Island was just gorgeous. That uh, was just a really cool... Um, those <laughs> the milking scene? Like, okay. It's Star Wars, there's weird stuff happening. And you gotta get to, if you can't have blue milk, you gotta have green milk. So, that was, that was, that was good. Um, and just, yeah, just again, I can't say enough about how awesome uh, Mark Hamill was. Uh, just, yeah, I loved it. From the first moment when he looks at the lightsaber, he says, yeah, that was killer. That was killer. And then uh, when he comes back at the end, so badass. And I knew as soon as he showed up, it's like, wait a minute. Where's the gray in his beard? This is a Force hologram. And turns out it was. Uh, but what a great sequence when the AT-ATs are just raining fire down on him and Kyle's like, hit him with everything we have. And just pew, 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 pew. Or pew, pew, pew. Um, just awesome. And then the smoke clears, the dust settles, and there he is. So cool. And the battle, the, the battle between Kylo and Luke was awesome. But no lightsabers crossed at all. It was so, it was just, it was so well done. So well sage. And he was just, he fought like a master. And that was awesome. And the way that he went out, you know, obviously the strain of using the Force, projecting himself across the galaxy, uh, too much for him. And how does he go out? Just like Ben. Just like Yoda. Just... And there's the cloak. It's beautiful. Loved it. And this better mean we better get Force Ghost Luke Skywalker in the next movie. I'm going to be so disappointed if um, he's not there um, at least a little bit to uh, help guide Rey. You know? Because, uh, yeah, just after what we saw from Mark Hamill in this flick... Uh, I want more. Just totally want more. He was so good. Just, I cannot stress that enough. Um, that just, uh, I loved it. He was so good. So, overall, yes, we got a new Star Wars movie. And a lot of people are not digging it. Like, really hating on it online. I've been watching it. And I, well, I saw this movie yesterday. And I was going to do my video yesterday, but I just, I, I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Just, it, it, it brings up so many questions like it's a really good middle chapter uh, much like you know Empire was a great middle chapter and left you with so many questions um, that you just had to wait for Jedi to get the answers to uh, and I think we got the same same kind of questions hanging over us as we head into episode 9 so yeah overall people uh, totally I, I really dug it you know the, the little problems I had were, were pretty minor um, and yeah just, it's good stuff, and just, I gotta tell you, just being in the movie theater, I mean, granted, we don't have the, uh, the old Fox fanfare, but now that Disney owns Fox, maybe we'll have that back in the front of uh, episode nine, that'd be kind of fun, um, but just, you know, when those words come up on the screen, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, it's like, wait for it, wait for it, and you hear that opening notes of the Star Wars theme by John Williams. Oh, man. Just get goosebumps just thinking about it, man. It makes me feel like a kid again. You know, I'm, I'm back. I mean, the Star Wars, like the first movie I ever saw in the theater when I was a kid, the original Star Wars. And it just, it ruined all other science fiction for me because everything else looked fake compared to Star Wars. And everything suffered in comparison to Star Wars to me. I had the Star Wars sheets. I had, I had it all. And, yeah, I've had a lifelong love affair with Star Wars. And as much as I did not like Rogue One, so happy. This is definitely, for me, a return to form. Um, and it's just a couple months away. We got the Han Solo, young Han Solo movie. Which I'm going to be really interested to see. Just because of all the uh, behind-the-scenes drama that's gone on with that. So, again, overall, people, I, I definitely dug The Last Jedi. Uh, and I hope all of you did, too. Uh, what'd you think? Let me know in the comments. Love to hear them. If you like the video, if you want to hear more, like it, subscribe. Thank you once again 
for checking in the shoot tube, and of course, may the force be with you.